all right wonderful people lovers of freedom good morning good afternoon good evening to each and every one of you welcome back to let's talk tv your one and only youtube platform where they give you back-to-back -back updates on how things they be on how things they share for biafra land and beyond if you're joining us for the first time remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too also remember to like and share this broadcast as it hot. All right, uh, the latest one we get for here, Nigeria military currently arresting Southeast residents, detains an uh, outrageous number of Igbos in Niger, Delta, Niger, Niger State's Wawa barracks. Of course, my people, these people would be innocent Igbo people that have done absolutely nothing wrong. And of course, the zoo uh, army are arresting them just because they are Igbos. Yes, this is coming from Barrister Age of Four and uh, reporting live. Okay, uh, this is what he says. Uh, Age of Four has said that uh, said that enforced disappearance in the southeast region of Nigeria has become a harrowing crisis. That politicians in the region, especially those who are currently campaigning for elections in in the coming year have continued to willfully ignore. He has lamented that hundreds of Southeast elderly parents, young men and women are allegedly uh, regular taking, regularly taken by Nigerian security forces, disappearing without a trace, noting that the relatives of the victims could no longer determine their status, whereabouts or whether they are still alive. Maybe this is an act of looking for how they would make sure that we are not able to uh, be able to in fact get more soldiers or get more people that would support the cause of the biafra freedom i feel like this is what they are doing and of course who people are doing this same thing the zoo terrorists the same people that we talk about and you people think that uh, it's a joke now someone else age of four is making it known to you he said age of four said in a recent publication he said i raised the alarm over the shocking number of our people being abducted daily by state actors under the guise of combating rising insecurity in the southeast hundreds of our elderly parents brothers and sisters are regularly taken by nigerian security forces disappearing without a trace our concern depends with the increasing number of distress calls we receive daily from the families of some of these victims of enforced disappearance. It is especially troubling that the relatives of these victims can no longer determine their status, whereabouts, or even whether they are still alive. The reason for their arrest remains unknown, further compounding the agony for their families. Unfortunately, this alarming trend has not been met with the deserving public outcry and condemnation particularly from those who claim to represent us in high political offices. Instead, a fraction of these officials seemingly absorbed by the privileges of their position are preoccupied with preparation for the next upcoming election. Now that the Amnesty uh, uh, International has stepped in to, to corroborate our concerns about these secret abductions and forced disappearances, we call on our political leaders across all levels to denounce the state actors responsible for this crime against humanity and demand an end to these grave infractions. We have also suggested in our various discussions that security agents have the capacity to identify their targets and apprehend the actual threats, yet they continue to target unsensibly, ostensibly, innocent and harmless citizens. My people, we know how far in their own side, I'm talking about um, with this same set of people in their own land, how uh, insecurity is being fueled on their own end. But no, that is not what they are focused on. They are focused on the evils, the Biafrans that are finding a way to be united, to go for the cause which would actually affect their life positively. And that is why they've decided to do what they're doing at the moment. Yes. Um... We have also suggested in our various discussions that uh, security agents have the capacity to identify. Yes, according to him, these innocent individuals are then transported to unknown locations where they may be either killed or indefinitely detained without any trace. While our military barracks in Niger State, for instance, is currently holding an outrageous number, high number of innocent Igbos who have been detained indefinitely with no hope of freedom in sight. I am urging the governors of the South East states to take immediate action and use the machinery of governments of the governments to address this 
rising trend enough is enough this is coming from them we should already know that there are these evil people uh, that we call the south leaders are not even ready to do what they need to do they are just people that are standing there ready to just follow whatever it is it is i believe the people that would actually put work into this would be the biafra liberation army that would actually do what they need for do the need for that needs to be done on this case and so that is what it is my people uh, the next thing you will be hearing will be a pm talk and i believe that it will benefit every single one of us concerning the biafra movement and so my people this is the time to listen to it thank you as long as we come on air every evening the whole world must listen as long as we preach this very gospel chukukika piyama must be with us therefore without any further hesitation we must proceed to offer every prayer to Chuku Okike Abiyama who resided in heaven. Therefore, as we always commence, not from today, but from of old, our Father who art in heaven, that your name may be hallowed by men, that we may bow at the mention of it, that we may offer every glory unto thee, that we may offer you every adoration and adulation because there is none like thee you fight our battles for us every blessed day you demonstrate through your kindness and your everlasting mercy that you are our lord our god and our creator this evening we offer these your children unto thee all over this very planet that you created they are listening across the entire 24 time zones on this very planet we are the inhabit they are listening to your gospel this very evening this gospel of redemption a gospel of hope a gospel of restoration a gospel of renewal this very gospel of freedom this very gospel of emancipation as only you ordained that this very gospel must be preached that mankind may be set free from the eternal damnation of the creation of the British my goodness me I want to remain in the spirit because we must worship heaven we answer your name O Lord of hosts everything about us is designed to offer glory unto thee we have atoned for our sins last year this very year we have not only atoned for our sins we have spilled we have shed blood they have shed our blood we have let our sacrifice be made unto thee even on the thirtieth of august as we are being felled by the bullets of the enemy by the workers of iniquity and of darkness we remain very strong today to beckon upon thee to ask you for your mercy and for your grace to ensure that your kingdom is restored upon the face of the earth that you can bring your healing hand to bear upon the life of those of them that you created for one singular purpose and that purpose alone which is to worship you in truth and in every honesty is there any way that we have heard is there any way that our ancestors may have sinned we confess before a congregation of the whole of humanity to ask you O oh lord of hosts to have mercy upon us you must have mercy upon us we have suffered enough we have been subjugated enough we have been tortured enough we have been imprisoned enough enough we did not do these people anything our only crime is to answer your name our only crime is to be born your children our only crime is to excel at everything that we place our hands into our only crime is to exhibit your glory and your blessing which manifestedly is upon our lives every blessed day that is why they want to kill us that is why the British want to join those of them who don't know you to destroy your creation and your inheritance. You will not allow shame to befall your name. You will not allow the enemies to triumph over the lives of your children because you created us to exist, to worship, to honor, and to praise you.
That is exactly what we are going to do when this Biafra comes. It will come in truth and in every honesty. Because we remain every blessed day. Chukwa Biama believe get whiter than white and whiter than snow. Is there any way that we have sinned that you cannot forgive us our trespasses? To enable us to fulfill your own word which was spoken thousands of years ago. That instead of what you promised not to come to pass, that heaven and earth will cease to exist. You opened your mouth, Shukokika Biyama, to bless mankind through the coming of Yahweh Yeshua. Who came here and said, let your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Those words can never be in vain because they are anchored upon your holiness and your magnificence. That is why in the end we know that Biafra will come, that these children that we have given birth to all over the world and their children and their children and their children as long as they give birth to them and they are their friends they will worship you in truth and honesty through this very work we are doing mankind will come to understand you let your miracle be wrought in our lives let us witness and behold your magnificence your holiness your mystery and your grace under our command O oh lord of hosts we call upon you we call upon you to heal we call upon you to provide succor to those of them who are inconsolable we ask you to come and strengthen those who are weak we ask you to restore hope where there is hopelessness we ask you for inclusion where there is destitution we ask you for one brotherhood one camaraderie one bone one blood and one flesh of your children the Ephix and the bibios the ison the shekiri the isobos and also those of them from isoko we are traveling all the way to the lands of igala we are moving on from there to Idoma, to Igede, to the territories of the Igbo land. All these places we dedicate unto thee. All these lands of yours, we ask you to cover it with your mercy. Because Biafra will come and when it does, we will dance on these streets i'm telling you by the time that we are done humanity will think that we are mad we are drunk in your glory and rightfully so because your kingdom will come to rest upon this very earth that very kingdom is the unadulterated non-negotiable sovereignty of the republic of biafra that your will may be fulfilled in our time all these we pray all these we ask for in no other name apart from that name that belongs to you i had in so sine bige bilone bige bi he said he said he said it's young light the peace there's so much against body we be after a gun umo go go Mad people everywhere. Dara. What you don't know is bigger than you. 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 Hey, it don't make me old. It don't make me old. It don't make me old. This is your key. It don't make me old. The what you can do to a black man is to turn a black man into yeah. The what you can do to a black man is to turn a black man into yeah. Ah, he the burn me, oh, that's that. Mama, he the burn me, oh, that's that. In this way, you 
gorros, raspemos los dos. A blind man, my God. Someone else, much more respect. He didn't bend me over you. He didn't bend me over. Africans, he didn't bend me over. He's your G. He didn't bend me Welcome, 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 my wonderful people of Biafra, lovers of freedom all over the world. You are welcome to this very live presentation this very evening. <laughs> I can see your names in the comment section. You are highly welcome. Please, as you are here, endeavor to welcome others. Today's date is 20th of August 2024, and we are live and direct. <laughs> we have come to do the need for this very evening this is the time that Chuko Kikabiyama has made, and of course, we have come to use it. I want to welcome every one of you, my wonderful Bia friends. This very evening is going to be a wonderful one, a very, very significant evening. If you are happy, of course, irrespective of the situation in our land, I want to use this very piece of music from a young Biafran to keep you warm for what is about to come this very evening. <laughs> I 
I can see your names in the comment section. Obino Koli, you are welcome. Frankie, you are welcome. SK, you are welcome. Victor Bwemena, you are welcome. I welcome every one of you in the comment section and those of you who are going to join me afterwards. Olinia, you're welcome. Francis, you're welcome. I can see you. Emenike, you're welcome. Prince, I can see you. Harrison, you're welcome. Gertrude, you're welcome. Oh my goodness me, the names are too many. And of course, we have to move immediately because we have a specific set of information to pass this very evening. And we don't want to waste time with this very broadcast. So please, I welcome every one of you. If I do not mention your name, don't mind. Keep making your comment. Once your comment draws my attention, I will definitely bring it to the screen so please do the needful do the needful do the needful as you join me right now can we keep up your saw immediately without further hesitation the very first thing we will be treating this very evening is the release of the biafra map the release of the original biafra map this is what we will be talking about this very evening moving forward before we dive into the next segment of this very broadcast this very evening as god has made it this is the map the original map moving forward although looks almost like the old one we had looks like the old one that we had but if you look clear if you have a very smart eye if you have smart eyes you will see the difference <laughs> those of you with very smart eyes can tell the difference you can see here this very place this very particular place as you can see the map the, the mouse was not in the old map this place wasn't there as a matter of fact some part here because the old map went like this so this whole of uh, this uh, this place all of this place not only here but including somewhere here 
we are not in the old map and some part here some part here was not in the old map so because this one this very map has a lot of places that originally should be in biafra including igodomi godo especially especially the lower side of Edo State, which has both a bank, a bank where, you, where they call a bank, because they are our people. Even though others say they don't want to join the Afro, no problem. But Emerenu, Emerani, Ibakere must be under Biafra. Let me repeat again. Even though others in a do state say they don't want to join because nobody is begging anybody to join biafra nobody i want to repeat nobody is begging anybody as a matter of fact we are fighting to save everybody this very news this very statement must be ringing into the minds and heads of everybody as a matter of fact we are fighting to save everybody not that we are begging everybody to join biafra no why how only one state only one state in the entire biafra land or should i say in the old states of the zoo in the old eastern region of the zoo can make a nation only one state i said only one state if you want to be realistic and truthful only one state under the zoo the old states in Igbo land can make a nation so we are fighting to save everybody not that we are fighting to beg everybody to be biafra no it is not done that is the what i'm telling you is the reality it's not done so Emerenu Emerani Eteloba Etelazo Ibakiri where you call a banke today must is I said must be under Biafra. Go and tell those rabble rousers, those rabble rousers on, on social media. Ibo must go. Go and tell Ibo must go conveners that we say whether anybody likes it or not whether they like it or not Ibakiri must capital m u s t must be under biafra because they cannot hold them back when i say must i am saying must because they themselves have not have not only given us the you know the the, the go ahead order to include them in the biafra map but we also have representatives of biafra and biafra government from that area and also they are Igbos. they are Igbos, original Igbo. so even if you want to ebonize biafra as the zoo try to make them to believe and understand they are still under biafra they still fall under biafra because of what they are Igbos. So whichever way, in any way you want to calculate it, Ibakiri is Biafra. And Biafra is Ibakiri. So I want them to know, they must understand this. We are not afraid of any, any idiot. We are not afraid of anything. We are not afraid of, they say, they, they, I, I was listening, by the way. <laughs> I was watching and uh, listening one live show one idiot came uh i'm from a door uh beneath beneath to be precise uh beneath the uh is the 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 biggest empire the strongest empire in africa ah, ah. Ah, ah. like seriously which war have you fought which war have you fought that made you the strongest during the war of Idu Noba. 
who won the war? Why were you displaced down to a land? Why were you displaced from a, 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 from a, 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 from Bini to a land? And today you will see some unscrupulous element on social media claiming that Igbo land in Eka is is uh, 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 Bini. Mad people everywhere. Anyway, I didn't come here to talk about them, but sometimes when I see their idiocy on social media, I feel like can do can do offer. Let me can do ne for better. Can we kega na we ala na na social media? Do do offer. I I I want to shook them small small small. Shook them needle small, so that tomorrow morning they will go mad on social media and continue their their idiocy. This is not why I came here. <laughs> this is not where I came, but it's good to shook them small in Gokwanofa, Gokwanofa, their, their, their history. Bini Kingdom is the strongest empire in Africa. Did you fight any war? The Afro people fought for three good years, and some unscrupulous elements are threatening Biafrans. The land of warriors.